Hi everyone! I hope you all had an amazing week. We have another special guest to this week. Ellie! Welcome home. How was your week? It was a great week. It's been very nice to be back home. It's good to have you home too. So you've been traveling around and have you ever been lost? Um, not that I can think of. Well, that's good. Have you ever lost anything? Well, yes. I think everyone has lost something at some point in their lives. Yeah, I agree. There was one time I misplaced a binder full of music and I thought I lost it. I panicked and I looked and I looked. I just put everything else that I was doing aside and just looked until I found it. When I found it, I was so happy. I totally understand. Imagine if the lost thing was a person. I remember when I was very little, I was shopping with my mom in the store and I wandered off. I didn't realize that I was lost because a very nice person took me to customer service and they made an announcement to the PA system so my mom was able to come find me right away. But I bet my mom was really scared. She probably stopped shopping and went around everywhere to look for me. Yeah, I bet she did. Today, we'll hear another parable of Jesus, the parable of the lost sheep. A good shepherd would lay his own life to keep his sheep safe. Let's hear the parable of the lost sheep. Here we go! Jesus told a story about a shepherd who had 100 sheep. He loved his sheep and he kept them safe. Every day, the shepherd took his sheep to find new grass to eat. Okay guys, enjoy the new grass here! One day, one little lamb went off all by himself. That night, the shepherd counted all of his sheep. There were only 99. One lamb was lost. Oh no! Where did he go? The shepherd left his 99 sheep and went to find the lamb. He loved his little lamb. The shepherd walked a long way, uphill and downhill, looking for the little lamb that was lost. I need to hurry! My little lamb must be so scared. Besides, wolves will come out and get my lamb. Just as the shepherd was thinking, the lamb was lonely and frightened. Bah! Bah! He cried. He was sorry he hadn't stayed close to the shepherd where he would be safe. The shepherd heard the little lamb. There you are. I'm so glad I found you. He said. You are my precious lamb. I'll always find you. Like the shepherd in the parable, our God will never give up on us. He loves us so much and he would do anything for us. In fact, he did. He gave his only son to save us. Yeah, and you know, today is the fourth Sunday of Advent. All four of the Advent candles have been lit. And the fourth Sunday of Advent symbolizes God's love. Our God brought the light of love to us by sending his only son, Jesus, to save us. Now we are getting ready for our Savior's birth. The type of love that God brings and shows us is amazing. It's without condition. It doesn't matter where we are from, our age, the color of our skin, what we like and dislike, where we study or where we live, or how much money we have. None of that matters. God loves us so much. As the Bible said so clearly, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish I have eternal life. I want to share a story that our friend Glenn told us. A famous, very intelligent theologian from one of Europe's preeminent theological universities came to the U.S. to give a lecture to students in one of U.S.'s famous theological universities. At the conclusion of the lecture, the guest speaker opened the floor for questions. One of the students thought in his brashness that he had a question that would give the speaker a challenge. He asked, what is the most profound teaching in the Bible? Without hesitation, the theologian replied, Well, my son, that is an easy question to answer. The most profound teaching in the Bible is something you learned in Sunday school. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Let's sing a song that is the most profound teaching in the Bible. Jesus loves me, this I know.
That was great. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for never giving up on us and for always loving us. Please help us to love our neighbors as you love us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.